Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today Thursday, Bitcoin has been recovering a bit, but today I want to make a quick update. So let's go directly to the charts. So here we are at the price to time model chart and nothing really different from yesterday. We continue to go up after this big week that we left behind on the four hours and the daily too, but the weekly is still red and delayed compared to the 2017 cycle, which is the yellow candle pattern. So nothing really different. The RSI also not moving since yesterday. So there's nothing really new to discuss about on the price to time model. Let's take a look at the total chart, the total crypt, uh, crypto uh, market cap. So we now have some signals. Since yesterday, we got a bullish signal here on the chart, which is the blue triangle here. So we are now having a signal that this formation, this price uh, structure is becoming bullish. So as I said yesterday, we found support on the context and reversed immediately to the upside. And now we are consolidating a bit for the last few hours. And finally, we got a bullish signal here. Uh, so that's it for the total. Uh, just the big difference is this bullish signal and that the support actually reversed the price action to the upside. Although this is not the price of any crypto in particular, this is the crypto total market cap, which is really important now for us to see what could happen to Bitcoin. So let's go also to the MRI strategy. As I said yesterday, I want this candle or I would really love this candle to become a green hammer. For that to happen, we will have to close the week around the 36 and a half thousand or 37,000, which will be a bit hard. But nonetheless, if this is still a hammer, even red, I like it much better than if the candle closes close to the 50 period SMA. So we found support on the 50 period SMA. This big week went to the upside, but now I would like this hammer to become a green hammer. And for that to happen, we would at least have to close above the 35 and a half thousand dollars. But to be a real hammer, this would have to be around 36 and a half. Uh, that would not be too bad. It would be a very, very good indication of bullish momentum. And that's what I would like to happen before the close of the week on Sunday evening or Monday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, the RSI continues to go sideways. The MACD continues to show overall uh, bearish, but as you guys can see, the bars have no gaps. So for the last three weeks, we have been just going sideways on the MACD, at least with the bars. The blue line continues to be below the orange and pointing to the downside. But if there is a price reversal on the weekly, and as I said, if this becomes a green hammer, this could all change very, very quickly. So that's it for the weekly. Let me just take a quick look at the daily. The daily looks good. This is a price reversal structure. We have a big week to the downside, immediate recovery. And this is the kind of candle that I would like to see on the weekly close. This is what I would like to see on the weekly close. We have it already on the daily. This is a reversal price structure, but now we need to continue to the upside. And there is a good sign also Today we are on a red 8 of 9 and probably if we don't go above this level here of the opening of this big red candle, the MRI tomorrow will be an MRI bottom, which could indicate even a stronger reversal of the price action to the upside. But let's have we will have to wait and see. The MACD on the daily continues to go sideways, although the gap between the two lines is now smaller. The gap between the blue line and the orange line is now smaller than it was two days ago. And that is also very, very by a hair, 
a, a good sign of reversal, but we still have to wait for the blue line to cross to the upper side and the bars to become green again. So that's it for the daily. I really like the count. This is a red eight, as I said before, a red eight on the daily chart. And tomorrow we could have a reversal MRI bottom. So let's see what happens. Of course, I would much prefer to have the MRI bottom on the, this candle here with the big wick. But if we have, if we continue to go really slowly, as I said yesterday, if we continue to go up really slowly, we might have an MRI bottom tomorrow indicating price reversal momentum. So let me just quickly check the for our chart for the bitmax funding rate this continues to be negative and below my threshold of 0.06 so we are now around 0.064 and that's also good for the bulls although it could be better if the negative rate would be much much bigger but however on the four hour chart we also found support on the 20 period sma and we are now fighting for this 34 35 resistance and probably we could uh, just go sideways for a bit more here or probably just consolidate going up and down for a few more candles before breaking this resistance to the upside if the MRI tomorrow the MRI bottom confirms probably we will have a lot more momentum tomorrow to break these resistances to the upside and confirm the reversal of the price action around the 28.8k so that's it let me just check here what else so the pro indicators on bitcoin is very very clear we found support on the context we are now going up with a fast return uh, reversal to the upside we then started to consolidate and found support again on the bottom of the triangle so we are now inside the triangle again and after this reversal we found support on the bottom of the triangle and we are now consolidating again trying to start the breakout of this resistance around 35 36k so let's see how this evolves but for now the momentum is very very good i like the price structure i like this big week for the price reversal let's see what happens next let me just take a quick look at the dollar as we said uh I'm not going to say it again, guys. I know you love it, but I will leave it for the next video. Uh, as we said before, the dollar is now going back down again. So it was rejected around the 92.3 level on the Dixie. I already traced here. I plotted this uh this downtrend red line here which represents the two points where this touched i could even lower it a bit because i don't like to put it on the top of the week but let's see i have to put this a bit to the left and let's put it right on top of the body of the candle it looks much better so this trend line here i hope the dollar does not break it to the upside or that could mean that the lies of the fed are actually working but i expect it not to happen and i'm expecting again that this was just a one to four candle correction on the mri and we are now going back down again to retest the support around the 90 on the Dixie. Okay, so let's go to the dollar very quickly. The dollar continues to go up very, very, very slowly and we have a trend line to break. So we are being squeezed by the white trend line going up and the red trend line going down. I would say that this triangle could uh, pose some um, difficulties for the dollar, but for the dollar, not sorry, for the gold, but I expect gold to break this to the upper side exactly the same way Bitcoin I'm expecting to break the 35-36k level of resistance so gold still looks bullish to me we are still above the main trend line which is the white one and let's see what happens this MRI top could just have been a one to four candle correction and we could continue the momentum to the upper side in fact this could be the start of a five wave being this the one two and the continuation for the three the third wave of Elliott wave count to the upside. That's gold. Let me just check the S&P 500. We continue exactly like yesterday. Nothing to see here. 
and uh, overall big picture of Bitcoin. We are still bullish. We are still bullish. Don't trust the idiots that say that this is a bear market just after four weeks of downtrend. Don't believe them. Those guys are just idiots. And this is still a bullish market. We are again going to be as the goal to be upside on the upside of this trend line here. So let's see how this evolves. The momentum is starting to become bullish again. I believe that that pattern yesterday was just, you know, the big week to the downside to 28.8K was the reversal of the price action. I might be wrong. There's still a probability that we could see lower levels, but still this at the moment, this is still a bull market. Okay, guys, I don't want to make it very, very long today. So let's end it here. Let me stop screen share. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short analysis for today, this short update. If you did, please gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget the Telegram group t.me slash fu money join our group you can debate and discuss your ideas with very intelligent people there so we will be waiting for you and i will see you of course on the next one tomorrow bye bye